This could be the most consequential Supreme Court case since the overturning of Roe v. Wade that you should be paying attention to. On December 7th, 2022, the Supreme Court will hear oral argument in Moore v. Harper, a case that could give state legislators near absolute control to set federal election rules without any checks and balances from state courts, state constitutions, governors, or even popular ballot initiatives. This means that partisan politicians could have free reign to manipulate our elections and undermine our votes. This is a big deal. Partisan politicians should not have absolute power to run federal elections with no checks and balances. At the center of arguments in Moore v. Harper is a fringe theory called the Independent State Legislature Theory, or ISL for short. It was an idea infamously pushed by coup memo author John Eastman that conservatives started warming up to after they lost the 2020 election. This theory relies on an absurdly narrow reading of two clauses in the U.S. Constitution that give each state legislature the authority to set election-related rules. However, we know from over 200 years of legal precedent that the definition of legislature is actually much broader, encompassing all of the state legislation process, including the state Supreme Court, the state constitution, governor, and citizen-led ballot measures. This is the full process that better protects you and your right to choose the leaders you want. There is literally nothing at all uh, in the constitution or in the history, either from the time of the founding of our country or the framing of the Constitution that even hints at the possibility uh, of such a theory. At a time when democracy is under assault on multiple fronts, if the Supreme Court adopts this fringe legal theory, it could result in a perilous power grab for rogue politicians who want to take our country backward. It could pave the way for stopping state courts from protecting voters, rigging congressional maps, undoing pro-voter election rules such as early voting and mail-in voting, curtailing the authority of state and local election officials to protect voters, stripping governors of their long-held ability to veto anti-democracy laws, making election administration extremely chaotic, and erecting new discriminatory barriers to voting access, particularly for marginalized communities. The Supreme Court should put people over politics. Even conservative leaders have said that the justices must respect clear precedent and reject the blatant power grab that underlies the radical ISL theory. This is not a left or a right issue, but a potential democracy crisis for us all. No one branch of government should have unchecked power to thwart the will of the people.